got into that Fiat. And when he's driving around today in the Pope Mobile, that's provided, that's a Jeep that they've modified. It's a Chrysler Fiat product. I'm, I'm wondering as I'm looking at this, I told my wife, I said, this whole thing about humility, it may just be a massive product placement for Chrysler Fiat. Oh, it definitely is. Uh, yeah, this Fiat, yeah. big Bilderberg yeah. Group member, took over yeah. Jeep three years ago. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. One other thing I want to add, and that is the whole concept of liberation theology. We talk about the open borders, but of course he's this here. This comes from the Jesuits change. that for a while yes. was banned by the Catholic Church. Yes, the Brazilian priest who started liberation theology, Leonardo Buff. Let me read you what he said about this particular pope. Told this to Der Spiegel in 2013. So it's, it's almost three years ago that he said this now. He said, Francis will teach to the, a lesson to the church. We are coming out of a bitter and gloomy winter. With Francis comes the spring. Now, this is a guy who founded liberation theology, which is nothing but Marxism with a thin veneer of religion on it. He left the Catholic Church. He became an environmentalist. And now we have Francis, who he had the highest hope for, would, would change, fundamentally change the church, that there would be a springtime with this pope. What he is selling is, with these carbon credits, it is an indulgence. This is an indulgence to use energy. That's essentially what this is going to be. They want you to pay some globalist banker or Al Gore, somebody to every time you turn on your car, every time you turn on the, a light switch, you want to pay a tax to these guys. That's what the carbon tax is about. It doesn't even have anything to do with, uh, with, with the environment. Many of these things that we're being told don't have anything to do with the environment. Again, many of the, in the environmental movement, people call them watermelons. They have a thin veneer of, of green and they're all red on the inside. And that's really what this agenda is about. He sold it today. Well, he didn't have to sell it to Obama, but they, they work together on how they're going to do this tomorrow. He's going to talk to Congress. He's going to try to sell it to them at Congress. We're going to cover that at the mall. There's going to be a speech, uh, and there's a mat that we saw, you saw that report that we put up where we talked about how uh, they're using the veneer of climate change in front of the uh, Capitol building. That looks like it's being remade into something completely different. And then on Friday, he's going to go to the UN. Just happens to be a general assembly. They have plotted all of this for the last six months, at least since the Pope did the. Assembly. Oh, they just introduced the legislation yeah. yesterday, right on. It's all concerted. I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, they know this is this is all very carefully and program orchestrated and and fed to us in steps exactly like the agenda where the pope is going from this place to that place to this place. They're leading us by the hand down this climate change agenda. Oh, it's like watching really the popes of 25 foot boa constrictor wrapping around yeah. a baby piglet, squeezing yeah. its eyeballs out, telling it it loves it. I mean, it's truly disgusting. Yes. It really is selling a globalist government agenda. That's what all these treaties are about. That's what the open border is about. And that's what the climate change agenda is about. But of course, they're saying, they're trying to make a moral case for it. They're trying to make a case that it involves the family. <laughs> really? I mean, really, it involves the family. If you want to talk to Obama, talk to him about stopping the foreign wars. Talk to him about stopping, uh, equipping ISIS, creating ISIS, training ISIS. Where is the Doing Pope on the baby parts being so sold? In China exactly. and the U.S. Exactly. Exactly. Nowhere. Nowhere. You won't hear anything about that. He really is a sickening person. And and, and then the fiat stunt, <clears throat> yeah, all of it, it was a stunt. is disgusting. David, what else are you planning to be covering? What are the different angles you guys are going to be going over the next few days? Well, we couldn't get access today. As I said, we walked around a security perimeter that was unbelievable in terms of how deep that perimeter was. So it was very difficult. Jakari got a, a short telephoto shot of the Pope as he went by in the Pope Mobile, the Jeep Fiat Chrysler product <laughs> that he was doing. This afternoon, he's going to hold the Spanish Mass. He's going to have the first canonization of someone uh, that's held in the United States as canonization Mass. They're going to declare a, uh, a former priest uh, as a saint. And as I pointed out yesterday, he was someone who uh, was involved with the Catholic uh, colonization of California, he's sending a message to people. This is a very con uh, controversial priest, uh, priest Sarah. Many people have accused him of uh, abusing Indians, and they even tried to get his statue removed from the California legislature. But in spite of all that controversy, Alex, he wants to uh, hold this guy up and elevate him as an example, showing how we can take back, showing the Hispanics and Latin Americans how they can take back America. That's that's really what's. It's all about Oslan. It's truly, yeah. Yeah. truly uh -huh. uh, transparent. 
All right, David Knight and Jakari Jackson, fabulous job. We'll talk to you again live tomorrow. I guess tomorrow you're going to be in New York. Yes. Uh, well, there'll be Congress uh, tomorrow. He'll be addressing Congress. We'll be covering that in the uh, uh, on the lawn, and then we'll be traveling to New York, and he'll be uh, uh, doing the uh, uh, UN presentation in New York. Okay, fabulous job. Please continue. We'll be following it all as you post your reports to Infowars.com and the Nightly News this evening. Thank you. All right, I want to go to your phone calls, but I need to mention some of the news I haven't gotten to. I mean, here's just the stacks of stuff I've got. Caitlyn Jenner won't be prosecuted for manslaughter following fatal car crash in February following ru ruling over neglect actions, was texting on the phone. And look, I don't care that the Olympic athlete thinks he's a woman. I just really don't care. It's that we're being force-fed this constantly. And it's meant to just set the precedent that anything goes. And I guarantee if you were somebody else and not this, 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 this incredible, you know, God, then you would be in deep trouble. School district implements iris scanners on buses after students' death. A disabled child was left on the bus and abandoned and died. 19-year-old autistic students, so now everyone must be retina scanned when they get on to count them. So see, in the name of liability, everyone must be counted biometrics. Well, that ties into this article. I know this is old news for our audience, but it's now in the news. Reuters, the intelligent car seat detects driver stress level anger level, you know, you name it, and reports it back to the police. It's called your driver partner algorithm. This is all just being wired into everything, folks, but the point is it's now being rolled out. They're now going operational with all this. The total enslavement control grid. They're saying that there'll be no more police car chases now because all the new cars have a kill switch in them. See, and they're like, oh, that's great. No, it's not. Because... Bad people are in control of the government, and it gives them godlike power over us. Imagine what Hitler would have done or Stalin with technologies like this. Now here's one from French news agency. Shout your abortion. That's part of this T-shirt saying I had an abortion campaign explodes on social media. A social media campaign launched by three U.S. activists that announced the stigma surrounding abortion has gone viral as women have shared their experiences. Both pro-life campaigners have hit back. Look, I don't judge a woman that's had an abortion you got lied to, whatever, early trimester, whatever. But then a lot of women, once they realize it's wrong, they then double down and become like cult members that serve it. It's pushed by eugenicists, pushed by racists. It's evil. It's bad. It's abhorrent. And it's all part of the dehumanization of life. Now the old people, now the veterans, it's all happened. Transgender woman says TSA detained humiliated her overbody anomaly. You claim you're a woman, but you've got something in your pants. What is it? This is only news because it's a transgendered person. No one cares what happens to a man or a woman, a black, a white, a Hispanic person. See, because, but oh my gosh, a god was questioned over their proboscis. And so... That's not the scientific name, I'm sorry. Uh, report, Muslims are the fastest growing immigrant community. That's from the U.S. Community Survey Census latest numbers. And that dovetails with this video. I don't have time to play it, but it's up on Infowars.com. Angry Muslims taunt New Jersey school officials. We're going to be the majority soon. See, you bring in all these foreigners, you fill them full of hate, you make them racially and religiously identify. Everyone else is politically correct and just says... You know, here, here's my checkbook. Here's my daughter. I'll do whatever you say. I mean, it's just, it's, it's the globalist breaking the country up for colonization by the globalist. <sighs> Continuing, ladies and gentlemen, they want to move towards global IDs based on face scan, thumbprint, or handprint, or index print, saying it's 100%. The answer to all the leaked social security numbers and stuff they say is that. But actually, that's going to get leaked as well. Office of Personal Management 5.6 million estimated to have fingerprints stolen in breach. Now they can basically be set up, you name it. <sighs> Militia organizer threatens to arrest Steinbenau over Iran deal. Growing number believe California drought is a government conspiracy. CBS News Sacramento.
There's a growing underground movement of people who believe California's drought is part of a government conspiracy instead of a naturally occurring event from a lack of rain during the last four years. The movement's leader, Dane Whittington, I think we've had him on, says he's putting his life on the line to reveal the truth that will shake society to its core. Let's, let's get them on. All we know is there's massive geoengineering going on. That's admitted. The details, again, are secret, but they admit it's going on. And then the weather people, the weather men and women, have gotten up on TV in California, Oregon, and Washington and said, yeah, it must be the military. There's all these jets out there. You can see the chaff they're spraying, and it's blocking that. that it's not chaff. It's, it's in the jet fuel, but it's a micro chaff. And, and, and we know from the meteorologists we've had on, from Ben Livingston, the father of weather weapons, that this is old technology to block weather fronts, and they just kill the water before it comes in. Because then they can get everybody to sell out, sell their land, turn the water back on, and come in and take it over. Bill and Melinda Gates run a huge secretive program for the Department of Defense. That's admitted. Look it up. Bill and Melinda Gates run a multi-billion dollar a year classified program in North America. In the 60s, Stanford Research and the Naval Weapons Laboratory certified, this was declassified 10 years ago, 10 years ago, look it up, 2005, that they had weather weapons that could create, stop, make stronger, move, whatever, hurricanes. And then they have national TV shows just make fun of me and go, oh, he claims that, you know, that Obama sent tornadoes to Oklahoma. No, I didn't. A caller called in and said, I think this could be a weather weapon. And I said, the weather weapons exist, but they're not generally localized. It probably wasn't. That turns to Rachel Maddow lying to her prey, her audience, her victims, telling them out of context, not showing a clip, that I said that. And I just say, keep doing it. Keep lying about me. <sighs> that's a big story. Oh, that's just that's just the half of like 12 stacks, literally, I have here. Uh, we're going to go to break and come back and let Dave finish up and go to Matt and go to Margaret and others. We'll do five minutes of overdrive to finish everybody. And then the whole fourth hour of overdrive stations can start picking it up. A lot of them are hosted by myself and other uh, folks. Today it's going to be Rob Dew, tomorrow Anthony Gucciardi, where we get a lot of special reports aired we didn't air, a lot of articles we didn't get to get covered, phone calls, special guests, fourth hour uh, on the satellite, uh, and a lot more. The money bomb's over, and we, we did succeed thanks to you. I'll be announcing more about affiliates, more about frequencies, Next week, we're getting all that lined up for the big push to get us on these TV stations and these uh, cable stations, which is already happening. It's like trying to eat an elephant or something, all the calls, all the contracts, all the deals, all the... But uh, the, <laughs> it's a long way to the top if you want to fight tyranny. <laughs> uh, that's what it comes down to. But thank you all for your support. We have 20% off DNA Force. That's a huge special flagship product. Just simply amazing. And 20% off Brain Force right now. And Child Ease is now back in. All of it available at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife. One word. InfoWarsLife.com. Or call toll free. We can answer all your questions. Take your order. 888-253-3139. Your purchase makes it all possible. So thank you. At the University of Delaware, they had a section that had beautiful Chinese lanterns. I'm thinking about putting that in my uh, dining room. And they thought that it was a clan message that they were nooses. Well, it was pointed out that it was actually the, the, the Japanese or Chinese style lanterns, you know, just lit up. In fact, we can do a document cam shot for TV viewers right over there. Uh, they refused to admit that that was the case. So this is the mass mental illness where you're hit with bioweapons in the food chain and the vaccines and chemical weapons, and you won't wake up to that, but you'll, you'll just imagine that pe brown paper bags are out to get you. German police cover up rapes. It's now confirmed so as to not to legitimize, they say, close quote, critics of mass migration. Secretary of State warns U.S. and Russia may clash in Syria. So a lot of just epic news up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And we're, this is getting new, having Anthony Gucciardi, Paul Watson, Rob Dew, uh, Leanne McAdoo, and others hosting David Knight, the fourth hour. So first it was going to be Gucciardi, but he's tomorrow. They changed that schedule because Anthony had something else to do. And then it was going to be Dew, I was told, and then it was Leanne McAdoo. It doesn't matter. I'm going to get everybody broke in on doing live TV and live radio, and they love doing it. Uh, so it's going to be Leanne McAdoo next hour. Dude's going to be riding shotgun with her some. And, hell, I could just stand here and do the fourth hour. Water off my back. I love doing it. I do have a lot of stuff i got to get done, though, launching this network. Dave in New York. 
Uh, you're on 